Get over and it's courtesy and welcome to an on the back wheel video. Today I have a treat for you. I'm gonna fit this FMF Powercore exhaust onto my new KLR 650. Now, much like my bash plate, this is from the previous gen KLR 650. I'm led to believe it will fit. Fingers crossed it does. So what we're gonna do is take all this apart, take that exhaust off and try to chuck it on. I also have the quiet core insert. I will most likely install that because I don't want a really loud exhaust, but we'll test it with it out and then with it in. So we'll have a quick look at the exhaust. I've cleaned it up with some vinegar. It looks fantastic. As you can see, nice and shiny. Oh, looks great. Power core four. So you should be able to pick one of these up pretty easy if you think about fitting it, or if it fits. So this one came off a 2010 KLR 650, which was a last generation shape. So we'll try to fit it all up. Now I've never taken this off, so we'll see how we go. I'm gonna get this side panel off for sure, which will be these bolts. Let's see where the air box is as well, I think. The air filter. Gotta cheat a bit and use the drill bit. Use the uh, Allen key for this one. Don't lose your plastic washers. Off. That was very easy. So all we had was those two bolts at the front, one, two, one at the rear, and then there's this insert here. Let's see it just there. You gotta like slide it back and then out. It came out really easy. Look at the size of this heat shield. Goodness. It's massive. So having a look, we've got one bolt here and one bolt there and then the clamp just in there that we'll have to undo. Alright, I'm not going to get a socket in there. I will get one on the back. Cut it in front. That was really easy. So I'll show you this bolt. Just a bolt behind which you undo. It comes up really easy. I'm going to knock this one out, so a little hammer, just knock it that way in. Get that one out, and that one will be exactly the same. It's a 12mm socket that I used to get that off. Alright, this is going to be where I'm going to take off the clamp. I'll take it off there, I need to answer that. I don't have a T-bar set, so I'm doing it this way. Which works fine. I'll just loosen that right off everyone, that bolt there. So I can get the clamp off. Alright. And off. That is heavy. Woo! Alright, it is off. Let's compare the two. Looks like it should fit perfectly. Shouldn't be any issues at all. This one's a bit longer. Uh, but the bolts look like they're in the same spot, so what we'll do is these bolts off. I'm going to use them. That one will be at the front, and that one we'll have to get out as well. And I'm going to weigh these to see what the difference is. Okay, I just weighed the two exhausts. The weight difference is massive, <laughs> it is huge. This, the stock one with the heat shield on, 7.1 kilos. I'll put that in pounds on the screen. This, 2.3 kilos. That is a huge difference, massive difference. Very happy with that. All right, let's install the sucker. Oh, this is how it'll fit up perfectly. That one's perfectly in. That one's perfectly in there. It sits like that. That slid down in there nicely. So we'll do up these bolts and then we'll do up the clamp. Oh, we're a bit short. We've ran into a problem, everyone. This bolt is too short. You can see here, FMF has this extension here that's welded on. And this has got an extension as well. So we're gonna have to get a longer bolt. I'll try and modify this. We'll uh, see what we can do. 
Okay, I have a solution for fixing the bolt not being long enough. See here, these two rubber grommets uh, kind of stop vibrations and for the bolt to go through on the stock exhaust, there's one on either side. So what I'm gonna do is lead that side in, I've got something to bolt onto, and take this side out, and this should go through the hole perfectly and then do up on the other side, so we'll try that. Okay, I have the two bolts in. I had to do a little bit of maneuvering. Number one, I bought a longer bolt for here. Uh, I ended up buying a stainless steel M8 50mm bolt. I could have went 55 or 60, but they only had like 75 the next size up, so I got this and it just fits without um, doing too much, I'll show you. See, it just fits, and it's not done up tight, uh, but I would like a little bit more like that one there is doing. All right, we're just gonna do up the clamp here. Try and get in there. The new one has got a different size Allen key, but that's all good. All right, it's all on. Fits perfectly, no issues at all. I did have to do some slight modifications. This was all fine. This bit here, I had to take out this rubber grommet on this side, I left it on the other side and buy a longer bolt because the FMF pipe has its own weld for your bolt to go through. Whereas the new KLR here has a uh, bit welded to the frame where you're supposed to put it through. But using it this way works perfectly. I just have to push it a little bit to the side like so and then put the nut through the bolt and it was sweet. So I've done that all up and I'll show you. Could use a slightly longer bolt, but it's turned out well in the end. It's this one up here. And that's how much we've got the one down there. That's just a stock bolt. On this side, again, I took out the rubber grommet and left it on the other side because it was pushing the bracket across a tiny bit. I just didn't want to put any strain on the um, exhaust, that's all. Um, but besides that, it is rock solid. No issues whatsoever. And looks bloody cool if you ask me. FMF always have a good look on the exhaust. It's really dirty now. I've had my fingerprints all over it, but that's all good. So I suppose next thing to do is start her up. I've got a feeling it's going to be really loud because I don't have the quiet core insert in and it's just a straight through pipe basically. And look at the size of that. It's just, that's sizable. All right, let's do it. Hopefully it doesn't wake my baby up. <laughs> That is a deep thud. That is bassy. Sounds like a thumper now, doesn't it? Dun, 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 dun. That is one loud KLR 650. <laughs> okay, that's really, really loud. <laughs> that's just a race pipe, isn't it? It's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, not good for adventure riding. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is put in this here quiet call baffle and see how much quieter it is. I think it's still gonna be loud. It's pretty boisterous. All right, let's put it in. So these are really easy to take in and out. They're literally one screw and you just use an Allen key to do it. Okay, it's all installed. Just see it kind of slots in the end. It's got a um, spark arrestor in there as well. So let's see if it's any different. I've got a feeling it's still gonna be loud, everyone. Sounds noticeably better. Well, quieter. It's 
still pretty loud. In fact, very loud. So I think I'm gonna have to take for a ride and gauge if it's too loud, if not try and source a Q4 or something, because that's, that's boisterous. It's like motocross loud. Sounds pretty tough though. <laughs> all right, let's put it back together and uh, see how it all looks with the side cover on. You'd like the baby. <laughs> Whoops. Damn you, man. And there you have it, all put back together. It looks super smart, I'm very happy with it. It's not gonna melt everything. You can see it's out of the way of the indicator and the massive license plate hanger slash mud guard. Looks really smart, yeah, very happy. So there you have it. One FMF PowerCore 4 installed on a new KLR 650. Now I know the Yoshimura also fits, so if you're looking at putting that on your KLI 650 as well, you can use the previous gen product. And I don't see any reason why any of the previous gen stuff won't fit as well. The only issue you may have is you might have to get a couple of different bolts. You can see on mine, I couldn't use the stock bolt. I had to get one that was a little bit longer just for the back. It's got a slightly different design there, but was like a two dollar bolt no issues whatsoever super easy install anyone can do it it's literally three bolts to get the side cover off and two bolts to undo this and then you get to undo the clamp and it just slides right off it's really easy to do then the fmf fits perfectly like no issues whatsoever uh just make sure you get that bigger bolt as i mentioned i did take off the rubber grommet because um with it it wouldn't fit properly because of how the FMF is designed, how it's got that uh, welded part for a bolt to go through, which you probably don't really need on this because it's got one already, but I just put it through it and then put the bolt through as well and it was perfect. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I also have this. A power bomb header. Uh, as you can see, it is very dirty and needs a big clean up, but I have no reason to believe that this won't fit either. It looks like it'll fit perfectly. The only issue we have is, see that sucker there, that O2 sensor? There's no spot here for one. So I need to get an O2 sensor welded in, but that's a future Curtis problem. We're not gonna worry about that for the time being, but I have one. So what's next for the KLR 650? Well, I'm gonna get a dyno tuned to make sure it's all running sweet. Um, I've looked at tuning options. Someone was talking about cracking the ECU, but that's just not happening at the moment with COVID. No one can get an SBA ECU to play with. Dynojet have just released a power commander, but that's really expensive. And I don't know if it's gonna be worth it. Like I'll have to see how much I can get one for. And then a tune on top, it's gonna be expensive KLR 650 once you do all that stuff. So that's on the pipeline. Besides that, next thing I'm gonna do is put on new bars and some bark busters. And look at some crash protection, because as you can see, that was only on a small off. This is all pretty sturdy, but it's pretty expensive to fix and it looks nice. I kind of want to keep it how it's looking now. All right, that's it for me. If you like what I'm doing, hit the like button and subscribe and uh, look out for more KLR 650 content. Keep it on the back wheel, everyone. Catches.